Hey, good evening. I'm meteorologist Steve McLaughlin. Hope everyone is having a great Thanksgiving weekend so far. The weather has been amazing. Thanksgiving Thursday and then today on Friday it was beautiful, but big time change is rolling in later tonight. A big cold front passing through the area. Just a few scattered rain showers, but a big time drop in temperature this weekend and very windy on Saturday. Here's our forecast for tonight. It is mostly cloudy, a few scattered rain showers. No big deal. It's quick moving and should not provide too much rain. Inland 33, shoreline 40, and then a big difference tomorrow. These high temperatures, 46 to 48, probably happen at around lunchtime, maybe 1 o'clock in the afternoon. And then a very strong northwesterly wind gusting up to 30 will begin to knock that temperature down during the day. Can't rule out a few snow flurries up to the north and west, but no big deal. Everyone, though, will get the windy weather and the colder weather. The shoreline by Sunday morning, 28. Of course, it's going to feel a lot colder than that with the wind chill. Sunday, we're at 45 degrees, so a cool day. Monday, 47. And we'll be watching Tuesday into Wednesday. We have that possibility of a coastal storm. It looks like right now we could have a mix of rain and snow, but it is much too soon to know just how much rain and snow. At this point, it looks like mainly rain with some snow mixed in and probably if our computer models hold up, not enough to cause major problems, but we still have a lone computer model that says it could be a lot worse. So we'll keep an eye on that still a few days away. After that, a shot of cold air highs next Friday and Saturday only in the upper 30s. Those are high temperatures. Inland high temperature on Saturday 46 down to 23 Sunday morning. Coldest spots will feel like about 10 to 15 with the wind chill factor. The high on Sunday only 43. We should be up closer to 50 degrees this time of the year. Stuck in the mid 20s on Monday and Tuesday mornings, highs at 45 on Monday. And again, we'll be watching that Tuesday, Wednesday time frame for a mix of rain and snow much too soon to know if there will be major impacts. Although again, even inland, it looks like there'll be a lot of rain and probably some snow mixed in, but possibly not enough to cause any major problems. But that is something we'll be watching over the next couple of days.